Welcome Brainers! In this video, we're going to talk about a crucial issue, protecting us against tracking, surveillance, and censorship. It's no secret that our online activities are constantly monitored and tracked by various entities, whether it's governments, corporations, or even hackers. This is where the Tor browser comes into play, it's a powerful tool that can help you stay anonymous and secure. We'll be showing you how to install the Tor browser on Kali Linux, but this works on all major OSs. First, let's take a quick moment to understand how it works. Suppose that you are the user accessing a website. Your traffic, along with your IP address, is completely encrypted and sent through multiple Tor nodes spread across the globe. Even if someone tries to trace you, they can only get to the point where the exit node was. I've shown only one middle node, but typically there could be multiple middle nodes which makes it impossible for anyone to trace you back. Let's get into action. Please open your default web browser, which is usually Firefox. Search and open this link. Alternatively, you can take the link from the video description. Tap on Download for Linux. Once downloaded, please open the download folder. Double-click the archive file. Please tap on Extract. Tap on Extract again. Please close this window and get inside the extracted folder. Over here, you should see a folder that contains all the necessary files and a .desktop file which is your main launcher. Right-click on the launcher and select Properties. Go to Permissions. And make sure Allow this file to run as a program is enabled. Please go ahead and double-tap the launcher. This is expected, please choose Launch anyway. You can tap on Connect, and also you can enable this checkbox so that every time you launch, it connects to the Tor network automatically. Please allow some time for your browser to establish a connection with the Tor network. That's all, we're all set to browse the internet without worrying about tracking, surveillance, and censorship. Let's double check what's being set as my current location. Cool. It shows Canada, a country that I've never been to. You can even create a desktop shortcut to this launcher. Please right-click, select Send to, and Desktop. From now on, you can simply launch the tour from your desktop. I hope it's helpful. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another helpful video.